Over the ages, Earth has gone through several ice ages, with the planet completely covered in ice at least twice. Extending from the poles to the equator, our world resembled a giant snowball on multiple occasions. Today, the landscape has drastically changed, as the ice rapidly melts, leading scientists to speculate about the hidden secrets buried beneath this icy terrain. Greenland has the second largest ice sheet on the planet, with an astonishing thickness of nearly 2 miles, covering 80% of the island. Here, glaciers like Jakobshavn advance at an incredible rate of 150 feet, 45 meters, per day, reshaping the terrain, while coastal waters produce icebergs towering 300 feet, 90 meters, equivalent to the height of the Statue of Liberty. However, these impressive phenomena aren't what make this island unique. Even today, the frozen surface of Greenland conceals many secrets. Scientists have already begun to uncover some of these mysteries, and their discoveries have been nothing short of astounding. Greenland, over 2.17 million square kilometers, is more than three times the size of Texas, yet its population is only 56,000, the lowest density globally. Most of the island is uninhabitable due to frigid temperatures. However, along the southwest coast, the Gulf Stream's warming effect creates moderate temperatures, making it a comfortable habitat for a third of the population. In central Greenland, temperatures remain below zero, with snow accumulating and never melting. Initially, new snow is light and fluffy, with a density of about 50 to 70 kilograms per cubic meter. As new layers cover the snow, the weight compresses the layers below, increasing their density. At depths exceeding 260 feet 80 meters, the snow's air bubbles can no longer compress, solidifying the snow into glacier ice. Greenland holds a vast 695,000 cubic miles 2.9 million cubic kilometers of ice, believed to have accumulated over hundreds of thousands to millions of years. However, beneath the ice lies a different landscape, a rocky island once teeming with life amid valleys, rivers, and lakes. Today, not all of Greenland is ice-covered, its southernmost regions, like the Kingwa Valley, are forested. With rising temperatures, this green patch may spread vegetation across the island, potentially restoring its greenery. In 1966, U.S. military scientists drilled through nearly a mile of ice in northwestern Greenland, revealing twigs, leaves, and well-preserved fossil plants, evidence of its verdant past. Scientists describe their state as freeze-dried. If you pour some water on them, they unfurl, looking almost as if they were frozen just yesterday. About 400,000 years ago, parts of Greenland had spruce forests and tundra, a flat, cold and windy area without trees, but with resilient low-lying plants. Today, all this serves as a time capsule, allowing us to peek into Greenland's ancient ecosystems. Greenland's thick ice sheet acts as an insulator, the ground beneath remains shielded from the frigid temperatures and winds above. Meanwhile, the Earth's internal heat warms the ground from below. In some areas, the ice sheet is firmly attached to frozen ground, providing stability. But closer to the edges of the ice sheet, where it's thinner, the base has thawed, and the ice is laying over a moist soil. If there's enough water beneath, it can make the ice flow faster. And this more rapid flow rate can potentially accelerate melting rate. Currently the ice sheet in Greenland melts away at a rate of over 200 billion tons per year, enough to fill almost 91 million Olympic swimming pools which hold 660,430 gallons of water each. And if it melts entirely, the global sea level will rise approximately 23 feet, causing devastating damage to millions of people who live along the world's coasts. According to a study made in 2019, around 680 million people reside in low-lying coastal regions. By 2050, this number could surpass well over a billion. Right now, Greenland loses more ice than it accumulates. Although, it will probably take a long time for all the ice to melt. The staggering magnitude of the ice sheet is hard to grasp, its weight has built so much pressure that it led to a depression in the central part of the island 1,000 feet, 300 meters, below sea level. And the same thing happened about 20,000 years ago, a colossal weight pushed parts of Earth lower into the crust. Ice sheets were all over the world, Scandinavia, the Arctic, and a large part of the USA and Canada were all covered in ice. And currently, something interesting happens to these areas. Imagine our planet's surface as a vast, shape-shifting mattress. Apply pressure and it compresses, yet once the pressure lifts, it gradually returns to its original form. Similarly, as ice sheets diminish, the land beneath rises while adjacent areas sink. 
This process is slow, some regions are still rebounding while others, like the United States East Coast, will continue to sink for millennia. Compared to other parts of Earth, these regions face a greater risk of rising sea levels. Today, Greenland is anything but green. Beneath the ice, scientists have peered beneath its icy veneer, revealing what the island has concealed for centuries. In 2013, a new canyon was uncovered. Stretching over 460 miles long, 6 miles wide, and around 2,600 feet deep, it surpasses the Grand Canyon's 277 miles. To date, it stands as the longest canyon ever discovered on Earth, though currently buried beneath billions of tons of ice. This subglacial canyon likely once channeled a vast river, carved by frequent floods around 2 million years ago. It may still carry melted water beneath the ice sheet and into the sea. Greenland was once home to a massive lake, covering 2,700 square miles, as large as Rhode Island and Delaware combined. Fed by at least 18 streams, it reached depths of 800 feet. Today, this ancient lake is a sediment-filled depression, preserving clues from a time when water, not ice, sculpted Greenland's landscape. Decades of ice-penetrating radar surveys have unveiled a network of mountain ranges rising thousands of meters above sea level. Their jagged peaks and deep valleys influence the movement of the immense ice sheet above, mirroring the hidden mountainous terrain. Additionally, there are submerged fjords, channels several hundred to over a thousand meters deep, carved by glacial forces. Greenland's glaciers are in constant motion, their paths and speeds determined by the subglacial mountains, which act as barriers. These mountains direct the flow of melting ice, altering its speed and direction, while fjords serve as conduits for icebergs to reach the ocean. The island's icy veil doesn't only hide a mysterious past, but also a rich reservoir of natural resources. Geological surveys suggest the presence of rare earth elements and precious metals. Elements found in Greenland's bedrock, such as neodymium, dysprosium, and europium are crucial in the production of modern electronics, renewable energy technologies, and different high-tech applications. The island's subglacial terrain could also harbor precious metals such as gold, silver, and platinum. But also there's water and a lot of it. Locked within the vast expanses of the Antarctic and Greenland ice sheets, it holds more than 68% of the Earth's freshwater supply. Greenland's unique geological features hold massive potential for geothermal energy development, a sustainable alternative to traditional energy sources. Harnessing heat from Earth's interior, known as geothermal power, is a process where heat escapes to the surface. Greenland's west coast has three times higher heat flow than the island's average, making it a potential source of carbon-free energy. Unlike fossil fuels, geothermal power generation emits minimal greenhouse gases, making Greenland a treasure trove of valuable resources and a possible solution for a carbon-free future. Greenland also reveals nature's creativity with peculiar formations under its ice sheet. Discovered in 2010, these formations, known as jelly roll sculptures, are as big as Manhattan skyscrapers, with heights of 3,000 feet 900 meters, and thicknesses of 3,300 feet 1,000 meters. These sculptures are made of twisted or rolled ice, unlike the layered ice typically found, and can be as old as 120,000 years. Researchers found these jelly roll sculptures just 0.6 miles 1 kilometer below Greenland's surface, challenging the previous notion of the island as a layered cake of snow. The ice beneath the surface is bent or folded, not flat, created by a process similar to building a sand castle, where refrozen ice adds complexity to the layers over hundreds or thousands of years. Deep below the ice sheet lies something even older, a 19-mile-wide Hiawatha crater, formed when an asteroid 0.9 miles across struck Greenland millions of years ago. This impact, more powerful than an atomic bomb, happened after the dinosaurs but long before humans. Today, the crater sits below 3,000 feet of ice, a reminder of Greenland's ancient past. Discovered in 2018, its location proved crucial. The crater lies beneath the northwestern edge of the ice sheet, where flowing streams from beneath the sheet contain sediments indicating past exposure to rapid and extreme heating. By analyzing sand grains, researchers determined the impact occurred a staggering 58 million years ago. Greenland remains one of Earth's most remarkable landscapes, preserving the mysteries of our planet's history. We have barely begun to explore this desolate terrain, but in the coming years, numerous studies will be conducted. 
Who knows what other secrets lie dormant beneath the vast expanse of ice waiting to be revealed? Could this almost alien landscape hide clues to our planet's future, extraordinary animal species, or even evidence of a long-lost civilization? Thank you for watching another episode of Just Discovery. If you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell for future updates on more exciting mysteries. See you next time.